All right. Start off by saying all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, and peace and blessings to the elect, okay? Um, I just wanted to go into something uh, that had touched my uh, spirit when we was on the block bringing it out uh, yesterday. Um... Uh, one of the brothers uh, had commented because commented, we were saying uh, that the world was about to come to an end, you know. So in uh, most people's minds, you know, they think that the earth, the whole earth is going to be destroyed, okay. So the brother, uh, I think it was the brother Abijah, had made the comment and said, you know, you got to clarify that for them. Because, um, you know, they had that thought, you know, the whole earth is not going to be destroyed, man. Okay. Now, part, this earth has to be cleansed. Okay. Certain parts of this, you know, planet, like America, America itself will be totally obliviate, obliviated, man. It'll be totally destroyed. Okay. And, and never to be dwelt, uh, inhabited by people again, okay? But um, he said, uh, the thing he said was, the earth as you know it, the world as you know it, is coming to an end, okay? How is the world that these so-called people, the way that they know this, this world, it is a wicked, perverse place, man. Okay? And I'm going to get some scriptures and um, and just get into it, okay? Because the earth itself is not going to be destroyed, okay? But the earth as you know it, these so-called people know it, that's going to be destroyed, okay? Because this earth is, is, is defiled. It's uh sorely polluted, okay? It's out of order, it's, it's out of course, okay? This whole earth needs it, it has to be reset and be put back in, in, in a righteous course, man. Okay. Because right now it's it's out of course, man. Okay. So um uh, with that I'm gonna get some scriptures. Okay, I'm gonna start in the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-four and verse five. It says, The earth also is defiled. Under the inhabitants thereof, okay? So the earth is defiled, man, okay? It's full of pollution, which has to be cleaned up, okay? The um, the rulers of this earth don't abide by the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. They do everything contrary to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. Okay? They do everything contrary to what this law say, but what, what is stated in the scriptures. Okay? Um, so the earth is defiled, man. But the earth is going to be cleansed. But that don't mean that the earth is going to be totally destroyed. Okay? I'm going to get some scriptures to prove that. Okay, I'm going to start in the book of um, Ecclesiastes. And then from there, from there I'll go to, um, no, you know what? I want to bring out another scripture first because I had uh because I've been going over this and just wrote down some precepts but I want to bring this one out first okay to go with uh the earth being defiled under the inhabitants thereof okay so I'm gonna bring the scripture out this is the book of uh Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and verse 2 it says as the judge of the people is himself so are his officers, okay? 
and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Okay. Now, we know from the book of Job 9 and 24, as it states, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. So right here in the book of Sirach is saying, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, so the ones that take direction from him, okay, that that uh, perform his orders, okay. And what manner of man his, what manner of man the ruler of the city is, okay. Such are all they that dwell therein, okay. So, if the rulers of this world be wicked. The people are going to be wicked, man, because they set out wicked ordinances. That's why homosexuals can get married, adopt children, abortions are legal, okay? GMOs are out there, plastic is out there, pollution is, is everywhere, okay? Chemtrails all through the sky, junk in space, okay? And I could go on and on and on, man, okay? Just to name a few. All right, the Heavenly Father, let's start there. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash is being blasphemed, okay? There are false images put up of our Lord. There's a false doctrines going out on the truth of the scriptures, okay? Or of these scriptures, not the truth of them, okay? But uh, the inhabitants, the rulers of this earth, they use the scriptures to uh, keep our people in the dark, man. Okay? So the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Okay? I'm going to read this again. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself. Because you got to go see Esau when you get into trouble, right? He the judge, ain't he? Huh? It say, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Okay? So that's that, man. So the people are uh, as the judge himself. Okay? Um, See something? Check this real quick. I just want to see what this say. Uh, that Psalms 12 and 8, it says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And the vilest men are exalted, man. They the ones that run everything, okay? So th they, they are exalted, you know? Our, our people worship them. Not and not even knowingly, okay? They exalt them. The world exalts them because they do as they are, okay? As the wicked are, okay? Um. Now I get this to show that the earth is not going to be destroyed, okay? This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter uh, 1, and yeah, I'll just go straight. This this is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. It says, one generation passes away, okay, and another generation cometh, you know, from one, this generation, to that generation, to that generation, so on and so forth, Okay. But the earth abided forever, okay? And I'm going to get that word abided real quick. I didn't look it up earlier, but I'm going to just look to get it real quick. Just bear with me one second. Abide.
for by it, it says abode, abide it, abide it. To remain, continue, stay. <laughs> abide with me, okay? Stay with me, continue with me, okay? Remain with me. To have one's abode, dwell, reside, okay? To continue in a particular condition, all right? Uh, to endure, sustain, or withstand without yielding or submitting, okay? Endure, uh, continuing without change. Well, that's abiding. Or lasting. It says lasting. Okay. And that's it, you know. But I just wanted to get that definition. Okay. So it says, I'll read it again. <coughs> uh, Ecclesiastes. <coughs> One and four, one generation pass it away, <clears throat> and another generation cometh. Okay, but the earth abideth forever, and that's that, man. Forever, man. Okay. And get another scripture. This is the book of Psalms. <clears throat> one o four. And I'm gonna start at one. Okay. It's a lot. This is Psalms 104 and 1. Yeah, I just gotta use this. It says, Bless Yahweh, O my soul, O Yahweh my power, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens. Like a curtain, who layeth the head, who salaki, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, okay, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angel spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever, okay, again. It shall not be removed forever, man. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna get the Lord's Prayer. Okay, which I have right here. Okay. And I'm gonna read it and just get to the point. This is uh it says Abanawa, which is our father, Shabbat Shemayim, which in heaven, Kodash Hayah. Shemka, holy be your name, Yahweh. Okay, because that's the heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. All right, Malak Wathka, which is your kingdom. Okay, Malak being king, Wathka, your kingdom. Taba, come, Ratazaka, your will, Haya, be, Asha, done, by Rataza in earth. Your will be done in earth, Kawa, as Haya Bashamayam, be in heaven. Okay? Now I'm going to read that again. I'm going to just read it in English. It says, Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as be in heaven. Okay? So that's something that's to come, man. His will is going to be done as it is in heaven. On earth, okay? That's what we're waiting on, man. For our Lord and Savior to come back. So, it'll be heaven on earth, okay? Our heaven, okay? Not not this heaven, okay? Because this is the so-called white man's heaven. Esau, Edom, okay? This is his heaven, okay? And that's evident. If you can't see that, then you completely out of the loop okay so that was it i just wanted to go into that um like i say when we was on the block that that just touched my spirit I, I wrote it down as soon as the brother said it i was like shit that's a lesson right there you know and 
That's a being on the block. <laughs> I take notes a lot, man. You know, you might see me with my head down. That's because I'm checking something out. I'm getting something together to do a lesson. Okay, you know. So if you having you know trouble with the lessons, that's a good way to get your lesson, man. Just something simple like that, man. You know. But um, that's like I said, that's it. I just wanted to bring that out. You know, for edification and Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakaku Dash Ratazah, there was edification in this lesson, okay? So, with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakaku Dash, okay? Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, okay? And peace and blessings to the elect, okay? And for all the sisters that may be watching, okay? Just as as always, just continue to play your part, man, okay? In sincerity and in humbleness, okay? And um, to the next time, I say, Shalom.